Hi, this is Hank Will with Grit Magazine. We're back again today to talk about raising happy, healthy chickens. With me is Dr. Mikkel Rader, a nutritionist with Purina Animal Nutrition. Many folks getting started with chickens have questions about how much space they'll need for their flock. Well, Mikkel, that isn't a loaded question. But when it comes to coop and run sizing, what parameters are paramount? There are so many ways to approach the coop space issue. In general, space requirements for the birds will vary depending on the size of the breed. But for the best results and most flexibility moving forward, you should provide at least four square feet of floor area per bird inside the coop and 10 square feet of outdoor space per bird. That's a great four to 10 rule, Mikkel, and should help folks get started. I discovered that offering even more space, either outdoors, indoors, or both, significantly decreases problems with bullying, egg eating, and it appears to help keep my flock healthy. But what about nest boxes for the laying flock? One nest for every four to five hens should be plenty. Boxes shouldn't be too roomy. A good size is right at one foot high by one foot wide and one foot deep. Boxes can be made from wood, metal, or plastic. Just try not to mount them on a north facing wall to help keep your hens warm in the winter. You might want to consider adding a landing board on the front of the box to help your hands get in and out of the box and to keep the bedding in place. I'd also suggest that folks try to situate or construct nest boxes so that the eggs can be removed from outside the coop. It's much easier than crawling into the smaller setups I've seen. And I notice a bunch of different kinds of roosts here. What do you suggest folks use for these? You can make a roost from 2x4s, dirty branches, or other natural materials. Metal or plastic roosts should be avoided as they might be too slippery in the winter and the metal can get cold, causing frostbite. Each bird should get about 9 inches of roost space and you should separate each roost by about a foot. And if you use sawed lumber for roosts, be sure to round the corners with a router or a plane. It'll be much easier on your bird's feet and you'll avoid health issues in the long term. That's great information, Mikkel. Thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today. For more great tips on raising chickens, be sure to visit grit.com or purinamills.com forward slash chicken feed.